but uh, I mean. Oh, good pivot grab from Kamehameha. He's working on a three stock. Oh, don't air rough. dodge there. Yeah, yeah, and yeah so Snake rough. has a hard time landing too. So usually Snake's like to land and with air dodge that. His drift is not as bad as Zelda's, but it's still like significantly less than Yoshi's. And Yoshi's going to be able to cover a lot of options, have multiple edge guard opportunities once he gets him off stage. Yeah. In the meantime, though, I mean, you have the pellets to control space very, very cleanly. That's one thing that's been helping Kamehameha. And also, he seems to have a lot more confidence in the air, challenging out where Suarez Ooh. is. Matchup might not fare as well as Spanky did, so we're really going to see his brand of Pokemon trainer and see how it stacks up against Kamehameha, who uh, should be like the top three seed in this tournament. Yeah. yeah, and of course, the first battle to figure out is how to get around those lemons. Yeah, for real. That's just getting around the uh, lemons in general is what is a uh, pretty frustrating for most players, and they go up against a really decent Mega Man. Yeah, I mean, look at him. He he hasn't landed a hit yeah. yet on Kamen Man. He's already fifty eight percent. He's like standing there trying to figure out. Okay, I need to get around these lemons, and then when I get in, I have to avoid like the flame sword, the leaf shield, like a bunch of other different projectiles. So this is just a war of attrition yeah. going on. Stage one of approaching Mega Man. Oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Uh, to cover wherever Wadi's going to be afterwards, too. Yeah, and Wadi's a big body. Like, Rob, that's an easy target. Yeah, very tall, relatively wide, too. Like, you yeah. look at the base of that robot, it's pretty wide. Uh, it's not looking good for him. Stuck at the ledge again. Scary position. Mm -hmm. That fair is always a great tool from Rob, just to be able to swat out uh, people in the air so you Smacking can kind of try and come back in. Oh, that's a setup. And they kill you so early with like jab, jab, uppy, true sure you can. Yeah. They, they got some tech. Definitely got some tech. Uh, that and uh, just, I mean, I think the, the biggest thing for Ken and, and uh, specifically is that like he has an extra input that sometimes is an input that you use all the time so you end up like, you know, messing up. Oh wait, what is it? Uh, it's like uh, four down or whatever, or four down and A is like uh, a next kick or something for him. Oh. And I, so if you're trying to do like forward and you run up and want to down tilt, like if you do it all too oh, quickly, yeah. Yeah, see, so it's like rip. But I mean, if you have tilt stick, I mean, obviously you can circumvent that, but. Here in the backwards after, sitting at 99%. Okay, Ooh. grabs, gonna toss Raph off stage once again. Going for the ledge trunk. Raph yeah. is quick to make it back onto the yeah, stage. Yeah, I think one metal blade conversion away. Uh, from this being over. And or oh, does wow. not matter. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, gosh. This yeah. metal blur. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's definitely a rough go over for the blue blur right now. It's uh, maybe a big on the second stock right here. Blue blur is about to be a memory here in a second, man. <laughs> I'm say nice things to you. Okay, he brought it back then. Still yeah, this is it. respectable now. Yeah, if he gets another kill like 80, then boom, he's stuff the game. Maybe he only oh. needed two stocks. <laughs> He was sandbagging on purpose. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, big 44. Damage. Why yeah, he's, big damage. He's, he's only 15 behind. Okay, got that back here, though. Oh, no. Still in it, though. Tech. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> articulating Tell, what I see Tell on the screen. Tell said the same thing as Soda Fish. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fucking good. Yeah, what do you mean? Dogs, man. They're trying to keep their dogs. Come on, bro. <laughs> I don't have what you have. <laughs> I don't have a white girl. <laughs> I don't have the goat screen. <laughs> I'm just from Baltimore. Try to make a living. Oh, and that's the. All right, and ready off stage here. Kamehameha. Terrifying with these ledge trap situations. He just stands there and has his presence of his own, yep. which makes it so much more terrifying. He's waiting to, you know, react to the get up options there. And, um,. The setups as well. Yeah, and I love seeing it because I feel like I see that from a lot of uh, Japanese players. Oh most notably, opened up. Uh, the open set, the percent is He's at 12 here. now. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're you got one hit. You're That's kill, it. You're at kill That's percent it. now. Oh, that, that there kind of scared me. Dude, it's a common man's waiting, man. He's yeah. trying. He's like trying to do yeah. walk, dash back, like do anything to stay outside the range yeah. of where Wario wants to come. Don't in. go for anything crazy. that will leave you open for an easy punish, man. You gotta play this one carefully. Oh, yeah. Oh, he got hit by his own motorcycle. Wait, he's at 151. percent Oh, he, the oh bike. wait a minute. Oh, oh. S smash straight into his. I catch the jump. That was really good spacing. Still, wide him mountain to climb. Wide, Double I mean, oh, uh, he's still living, oh, but yeah, but dang, I mean, dang. that, that <laughs> timing the on the down air was so good. Kamehameha is just all over him. It's like he lost his stock, but it doesn't even feel like he lost his stock. Oh, jeez. No sweet stock, but okay, we get the back here anyway. It. Maybe trying to play it a lot more safe now that he's at 77%, but of course, Arsene's not on the board here yet. He wants to take advantage of the position that MKLeo is in here. Yes, and we did see MKLeo at least try to use the down tilt at some point just to get underneath. He clips him with the back here, though, and now it's a chance for him to let strap. Oh, rolling right beyond... First time we've seen something like that from Brood, he is burning on different cylinders right now. He's not playing the normal game plan. Oh, no. 
This is the Kamehame plan. Now, th like, basically right now, what he's playing is, like, he's playing his opponent. That's the kind of the way that he's always done it. He just, as you are saying, like, feels it, knows it's going to work. Not gonna really big. Oh, and there we go! Cla yeah, it's looking rough here, too. And, uh, and you know, like, you're exactly right with that, too. Uh, Game & Watch does have a great recovery option as well and can definitely be exploiting Kamehame's option. But that's the problem. Kamehame is consistently holding the stage, holding neutral, center yeah. of uh, neutral, so... Every time. Every time he upbeats. <laughs> he's just eating that up air. And the cam's on him in the background. Oh, They're what? Um, I was going to say, this is where you just don't get hit by Metal Blade and you're good. Because uh, that's really the only confirmed that Mega Man has is in the mid range yeah. in order to set up the kills. But as I say that, Kamehameha lands that perfect Metal Blade and capitalizes the right way. It does decent damage, too. Yeah, it, it actually does. does. And that's annoying. That is a, a projectile that uh, it's constantly just being throw out, thrown out. And, and that's the problem for sure. Melo definitely looks like he's struggling uh, to find, to even just uh, hit Kamehameha at this point. You know what I mean? He's just really struggling um, to, you know, throw any grenades for that matter, and I haven't even seen him land a C4, and I ha any snake combos that we usually see. Yeah, it's like I said, he, he just can't get anything started. Because, oh my mm. god. Has him at the ledge, okay. But I mean, Kamehameha is a smart player. He manages to get out just like that. Uh, lemon is a grab, gets a back air. Now, it's just a matter of that every time Kamehameha has control, he keeps it for a very long time. Wadi, he can get like two hits and maybe one more extra, but Kamehameha finds himself in neutral Why? position. Another Z. Did you see that? Kamehameha just stood there, like waiting for to see which direction he was going to pop and then followed up flawlessly. Yeah, that guy knows exactly what he's doing. Mega Man Extraordinaire. Yep. So All right, the double tornado. Yeah, Wadi had the lead, and then he was he was looking for kill moves, and he, he whiffed, and then that was his own death. Like a tech chase knee, some, like it's pretty crazy some stuff. side V combos. Yeah, or something like that, if he just like stood still. That's you get a whole bunch of up airs. Oh, try to go for double dare. I'm trying to style? Yeah, there's so much hit stun on that dare. Not quite enough to be able to solidify anything, but let's see. Oh, that up smash. Some of these other projectiles that do uh, quite a bit of damage, right? Right, right. So right now, Komi just getting chipped for a couple percent um, for the pellets, but for the most part, like when we see what happens when Komi gets in. Yes. Komi will get in and do big damage, make big plays. Meimei, he's playing the slow and steady game. Oh, but well, slow and steady. Yeah, well, Ooh. you can you can tech him now. Like, and you oh, can never so tech him before, so, so like, it yeah, kind of makes it uh, yeah. whatever. But. And not, not everyone hits all their techs, so I feel like yeah. it's still something to, to look into just in case. Hmm. All right. Playing that super zoning game, though, but Wolf has a pretty good... His Nair is so good at getting in. Because his Nair beats out Metal Blade, it beats out Pellets, beats out everything. So maybe just has to watch, watch out for that. Ooh. All right, he's grab, back throw, get off me. I love when he pellet right in their face. <laughs> Such a gangster move. Oh. Okay. So hunting for that, like, landing move. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna yeah, I, find I, that. Like, yeah, he's I don't know why, but I think he's gonna get up smash for this first stop. Like that's what I'm feeling right now. Up smash. Up yeah. smash kills earlier in this game or lower later in this game. Sorry. Oh, later. Oh, okay. Well, oh, works. Never mind. Pivot, pivot up. He waited Ten. for the spot dodge. <laughs> he waited. <laughs> <laughs> like I know you're gonna spot that. Anybody would spot that after this. Yeah, this is gonna, definitely gonna be a way more, I would say, slow paced more. Anything's patient uh, matchup that we're gonna see here. This is the up out of shield. And he's not one for two on those. I hope he's not. I hope, not, I hope that's not his like go-to option out of shield. You know, it is useful sometimes, but not all the time. Uh, metal blade into the grab. And maybe just adding in all his extra pressure. This parry's coming through, landing on his shield. You see him do the Z drop from the jump out of shield. And grab the ledge, but you're a little bit too far. Uh, oh, was that the tech? I'll be with the bomb in your hand so you can't <laughs> get punished. I like that. <laughs> Listen, JD was having such a great first stock. He was winning by quite a bit until he found himself in that weird offstage situation. Yeah. I mean, that was really good awareness on Kamehameha's part from just grabbing him right out of his recovery. Like, okay, you went right above the ledge, but now I can just grab you out of this and just wait to see what you're going to do here. I'm going to Z-drop on the Metal Blade. Oh! Much damage at all. Oh, okay, there's the grab. Good reset. And the Saw Blade. Yeah, the Z-drop Saw Blade is so good for ledge trapping. It, it'll cover jump. It covers normal getup as well. Ooh, okay. that was great coverage too with the leaf field. Try to hit him with the hard knuckle. Not gonna connect though. Man, and Kamehameha, I just love the spacing this stock oh, and almost uh, mid screen there. Mm -hmm. Does so much. That's Kamehameha. Oh. Once he gets an opening, he's able to confirm into so much. 19%, 25, 34. Oh, it's disgusting. Yeah, he's very, very technically sound as usual. Both of these guys really. 
Like, remember you usually saying that whoever takes the first stock wins? Yeah. Tomato instantly just fires back from Exactly. Stock. He recognized that he can't let Scab build a big lead, so he immediately got that stock. And here we go into the Metal Blade, into the Leaf oh Shield. Oh my goodness, so much damage. Mm -hmm. oh, oh my god, is that the...